got trust issues? No worries, that's what I'm here to fix for you. When it comes to learning things off the internet, you need to know if the source is legit. I mean, we all know that you shouldn't believe everything you see online, but I am here to tell you that you should believe me. As you guys know, I'm just a kid at heart who wants to share the wonderful world of FPV with you. I've seen it all in the RC hobby over the past 10 years, and my experience is now going to be your knowledge. So, you're still listening? Okay, I will solve your FPV trust issues in these short freestyle sessions, I promise. But you need to quickly subscribe. The best therapist in the world can't be free. FPV goggles have now become a source of many trust issues. Not only has Caddx cut ties with DJI, which has people panic buying Vistas, the new Fat Shark walk snail whatever the f new digital avatar system is creating even more chaos in the heads of FPV pilots. But before you have an anxiety attack, I'm here to tell you to calm down. Let's talk it out. Take a deep breath. The truth in the FPV goggle scene is gray right now. It is thin ice that has to be walked on carefully. The DJI FPV Goggles V2, current version of the air unit, and Caddx Vista have been discontinued. The Fat Shark Walksnell system was nowhere near ready to be sold to the public, but certain online FPV influencers seem to care more about their free set of goggles in the mail than telling us the truth. Wow. At the same time, HD0 seems very functional too, and Orca have a digital system add-on for their goggles in the works too. Let's just say, in the next one to two years, the goggle scene will be completely different. To start off, my first stance is that aside from elite level racing, analog is dead. If you are using analog and don't want HD0, Honestly, stay with it for the time being. And more specifically, if you have Orca goggles, I would simply just wait for their digital system. If you have a pair of Fat Shark HDOs or Attitudes and want digital right now, I think there is a very strong argument to buy the HD Zero module and enjoy that. This digital experience is still a lot better than analog and you won't break the bank too bad by doing so. There is a commitment in continuous improvement for the system and that is a very valuable secondary point too. You also don't have to worry about the avatar system bull or, you know, DJI being, well, DJI. If you have DJI FPV V2 goggles currently, which is the situation I find myself in, a lot is going to depend on whether or not the DJI V3 air units are backwards compatible or not. Sadly, this is out of our control and only time will tell, but don't panic. One option in this situation is to buy a couple spare Caddx Vistas right now, as the system is perfectly viable, and that would mean that for a couple hundred dollar commitment, you guarantee to keep yourself in the air for another year or two, regardless of the V3 air unit being backwards compatible or not. Not a bad choice. You could also decide to stick a big fat middle finger at DJI and switch to the Avatar system, which is a bit sketchy and not necessarily ready. This decision would also not be great because it will leave you with a spare set of $600 goggles that you bought less than two years ago. Not ideal. Buying a couple extra Caddx Vistas allows you to have more available VTXs for the same price as buying the Avatar system, which for $800 will only get you one VTX. If you have a lot of money to spend, this is probably the way to go, but just give the system a bit more time to be ready. Don't forget that the best equipment is always the one that you are fortunate enough to own. So just take a deep breath, charge your batteries, and beyond all this, enjoy what you love. FPV. Gratitude beats any set of goggles. So yeah, there will be a Trust Issues Part 3, so subscribe so you don't miss that. Let me know what you guys think about the current goggle scene in the comments. Till next time.